Hi guys, this is Monique Dupree Thomas, and I'm standing under this big, beautiful tree. My goodness. The European beach. They actually have the, the types of trees that they are right here, but oh my God, I almost fell and killed myself. Um, so I wanted to get on quickly. You know, I like to do these little tips, things, Again, I'm not a guru. I am just uh, a person who learns from experience. Uh, my question today is, are you emotionally lying? Are you emotionally lying to yourself? Do you feel like you put out an energy to people, but you know that there's something in the pit of your stomach that may be wrong about it, that you may question about it uh, and it keeps you stagnant um, when you emotionally lie to yourself when you put forth an energy to emotionally lie to yourself you're also putting it out there doing it to someone else you're essentially lying to someone else while you're emotionally lying to yourself because you can't come to terms with yourself to let something go or to go jump all the way in or whatever it is that you're you're emotionally lying about and a lot of the times it comes from from overthinking and I'm not saying that you know you're lying on purpose because a lot of people they lie to themselves so if they lie to themselves they believe it thusly <laughs> It's, it's still a lie, but they believe it. They believe it as truth. That's one of the most dangerous things that you could ever do. But I've seen so many situations where, you know, people will convince somebody else or try to convince somebody else, you know, I, you know, I love you, I wanna be with you. But deep down, they know that they're selling a fantasy. They're, they're emotionally lying, but they don't understand that the repercussions of that is that you are hurting someone because you eventually have to come out of that lie eventually that emotional lie has to come to an end and you have to face up to it or be forced to face up to it and that's also what's keeping you stagnant you can't move forward in positivity when you're bringing that type of energy anywhere to yourself or to somebody else for me i call it emotionally lying i don't know what you would call it but you know you get you get your emotions all involved you you're trying to convince yourself that something is one way when you know in the pit of your stomach that that gut intuition is telling you that this is not right this is not true but then you just keep going deeper and deeper into that emotional lie well you don't accomplish anything you don't make any great strides because you're stuck in this emotional lie. You have to start, it comes with facing yourself and facing where you actually wanna be and not bullshitting yourself, but just literally standing and facing yourself and going, okay, what am I doing here? What do I need to do? You can't hold on to so many different things. I mean, I've seen it with relationships, you know, where like, one person is trying to hold on to these different people for these different reasons and they're they're telling everybody the same thing because they're investing themselves in this emotional lie so that they can see uh who they end up with but they're only thinking about themselves that is fucking selfish and you shouldn't do it you're only thinking about yourself and you're not thinking about the other people that you're involving in your emotional lie because eventually it has to come out and then there's going to be two people that's hurt perhaps everybody hurt perhaps you end up by yourself that's a situation involving relationships but emotional lies happen with anything in life um i just want you to think about it and sit and take a second and think about your life and go am i emotionally lying to myself about anything or anyone take a moment Always remember when you're when you're dealing with other people, be extremely clear. Even if you think they know, be extremely clear because other people's emotions are involved. And that's how you end up hurting other people. And that's how uh, you end up pulling your vibrations down because you're cheating somebody else of 
so much time. Everybody's time is valuable. And I mean, like I said, this is a situation with people. And in most times, most situations, the emotional lying happens when you are doing it to someone else and not, you know, like something. So I know I'm not the most eloquent speaker, but I'm just saying um, <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking from the heart here. So you have to bear with me at times. So I, I suggest it's the same thing that I had to do. I had to be real with myself and tell myself where I am and I'm clear in, in every way that I move because it's important. That clarity is important. I don't wanna hurt anybody else. You know, if I know that I'm, I'm venturing into something, whether I feel like they know about it or not, I go, hey, this is my situation. Are you cool with that? If you're not cool with that, you have concerns, then you need to talk to me about it now. Um, but I don't want to go, well, I, they know, like they know, they see my social media, so they know this or they know that. You make things absolutely clear to people using your specific words um, because emotional lying hurts so many other people than just yourself. So let's think about that for a while, please, because so many people are out there just hurting other people, doing the build up to the hurt. They don't even know they're being getting ready to be hurt yet because they're still in the emotional lie with whomever they're entangled with that emotional lie with. And uh, eventually it has to come to a close and eventually somebody's gonna get hurt. So you might as well cut it off ASAP. Um, that is my advice for today is to take a look at your own bullshit. Don't go, I know, you know, I know I could be this way. I know I could be that way literally sit there and go in all of my situations right now could i possibly be doing that am i doing that to someone just imagine how it would feel if it were done to you you know people hate and and it and really again it comes off as just a regular lie but emotional lies your emotions are all invested in what you're saying and you're you're selling something you're trying to sell it you're being a salesman but it's not actuality you don't even believe it deep down inside because you're you're doing it here there and everywhere to see what comes back to you but you're not thinking about what's happening with those people around you use your words and talk to the people around you emotional lying is horrible and it hurts so many people that's how some people actually end up getting killed because people snap and they start fighting all kinds of things but what I'm saying is take a moment and address your own bullshit to yourself. You don't need to talk to anybody else about it. You don't have to go, do you think I'm emotionally lying? You sit there and face your own bullshit and um, check yourself uh, before you rickety wreck yourself. I'm sorry, I couldn't even, I couldn't go without saying that. Um, <laughs> anyway, that is all of my advice for today. This is Monique Dupree Thomas. Also, I just announced the, um, that my, my daughter is pregnant and um, hubby and I have another grandchild on the way and we couldn't be more ecstatic. I am so sweaty because I'm just walking around here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I will talk to you guys later. Monique Dupree Thomas out. Mwah.